In this segment of MTC, we're going back. We're going back. We had this company on the first season of then Lockout Men Makes the Call season one. Back then, it wasn't as popular as it is now. But we're going back to Snyder National. Now, as you guys may know, Snyder National is number, well, for starters, Snyder National is a starter company. All right. So if you come out of, if you come in straight out of school, trucking school, community college, or anything like that, Snyder National is one of those companies that you can get in and get your training. Now, I'm not sure how much they start at, but from some drivers that I heard, you know, you, they, they start anywhere like maybe around 40, like 40 to 50 cent a mile, give or take for new drivers. So make sure you find out how much it is because you really don't need no experience, you know, with Snyder National. Their driving opportunities are they have van, of course. They have dedicated. They got intermodal, tankers, and do Snyder do flatbed? I'm not sure. You might want to ask about that as well. But this particular call centered on their tanker divisions. All right. Before we get into their tanker divisions, let me tell you a little bit about Snyder and their company paid training options. They do, they do have their own school. And with that said, Snyder is like the boot camp of trucking schools. Like this, like if you was to pay, like pay, Snyder is like a paid school, but you don't have to pay for it. All right. But you, my bad, my bad. I take that back. You do have to pay for it. <laughs> but they, Snyder will pay up front for it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> uh, they have a CDL training apprenticeship. They say get five weeks of paid on-the-job training with Snyder before taking your CDL tests. You can learn more about that on Snyder's website, as well as company-sponsored CDL training. They will pay for two or four weeks of CDL training in exchange for six to 12 months worth of work commitment with Snyder. Same thing with that. Make sure you find out a little bit more on Snyder's website. And they also have tuition reimbursement. So if you already went to school, got your CDLs, and you choose Snyder, they said if you receive your CDLs within the first year, Snyder will reimburse your tuition to where you was at. You can find out more about all three types of CDL training options on the website, which will be in the description below. All right. So this particular call was centered around their tanker division. The young lady did mention that you're going to have to have your hazmat and tankers. Snyder will help you with your hazmat if you don't have it. You will be the two positions that we talked about, which was over the road tanker. And we talked about regional tanker. Both you will do chemicals. Now, I'm not sure what type of chemicals, but it has to be hazmat. You have to have your hazmat in order to uh, to move that. Now, in the conversation, she did not mention anything about uh, dry product or milk product or anything like that. That's something that you might 
want to ask, uh, that's something that you might want to ask. Tanker truck drivers deliver bulk liquid or dry bulk. This is what it said on their website. Lowe's typically in steel tank trailers with hands-on loading and unloading process with pumps and hoses. The trailer can be designed to haul chemicals, corrosions, or contain multiple, com multiple compartments of controlled product temperature, i.e. heat in transit. Snyder says that they're the leading liquid freight based consists of 75% of non hazardous loads. With all that said, let's discover what kind of tanker loads are available in the car. Thank you for calling me Schneider Driver Recruiting. My name is Blanca. How can I help you today? Hello, how you doing? Um, are you the actual recruiter that I need to talk to or are you like a go betrayal? Okay, so am I a recruiter special? I am a recruiter specialist, so I can help you going through some position available in your area. Oh, okay, okay. Well okay, well let me let me go ahead and start from the from the top then. Uh my name mm -hmm. is Sean. I got a friend that suggested me to call you guys because I just got my tankers endorsements. And uh, they they said that I should give you a call because you guys have a pretty good uh, training uh, during orientation for for tanker drivers. Am, am I am I correct in saying that? You are correct saying that. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so of course I just uh, obtained my tanker, so I'm interested in to finding out a little bit more of what you guys have to offer for for uh, tanker endorsement drivers, if that makes okay, sense. Okay, sounds great. Yeah, sounds great. I do apologize. I missed your name. What was your name, you said? You can call me Sean. Sean? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at this time, Sean, do you have any experience with your CDL Class A driver license? Yes, I do. I have uh, seven years. Perfect. Sounds great. Um, can you provide me your zip code to see what I have available for you? Okay, so I'm going to just give you, I, I'm out of Ohio. I have an address in Cleveland, and I have an address in Columbus. So Okay, both address are your permanent resident. I mean, uh you can stay there for a couple of days in those in those uh address? Yeah, yeah I, okay. I, I have an apart I have an apartment in Columbus and I own a home in Cleveland. Perfect. Sounds great. Yeah, you can provide me both zip code and then I can take a look what, what I have available in each area. Okay, so anything in Cleveland? Um, and anything in Columbus. Okay. Okay. Do you have the zip code? Uh, Chad? you you need the zip code? Like you couldn't just give me I, a broad? You couldn't give me a broad in in both cities? No, I will need your zip code. All right. Well, how about how about zip code four four one zero eight? Okay, let's take a look at that one. Uh, yeah, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, tanker position. Let me see what I have for tanker position. I do have a one regional and one over the road position. Okay, the so talk. Regional tanker position. Okay, mm -hmm. so talk. All right, so talk to me. What's um, what's uh, what's what's the? Re let's start with the regional. So the tanker and regional. What what will I be um? What will I be moving? Okay, yeah, I can definitely give you more information about that. So that position, you will be traveling in the area of Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Connecticut, Kentucky. Hey, whoa, 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 slow it down, back it, back it up. Uh, okay. Region, so read. Regional will in that little bit of regional would include the northeast. No, 
Uh, well, you just you, you just mentioned New York, Delaware. New York. Yeah, that's that's up in the Northeast. Yes, I believe you will get as far as New York. And let's see, Delaware. Yeah, I believe you will get as far as New York. Uh, because then you will be traveling in West Virginia, Virginia, Tennessee, and North Carolina. Okay, yeah, that's, as far as you will get northeast, yeah, uh, it will be New York. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so what would I be hauling? Like what 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 commodities I'll be hauling if I if I'm if I'm driving in those areas? Okay, so you will be holding liquid chemicals, having about five loads per week. Okay, and I do have a couple park locations, so you will park um, whatever is closer to your home. I do have a couple places here. Okay, so um, okay, so let me let me hold you up for a second. Uh, mm -hmm. You said liquid chemicals, hazmat, or no? Yes. So you, so I would need my hazmat endorsements for this. You, yeah, for this position, we will need your tanker and your hazmat endorsement. Okay. Yes. What, what, what tanker position? So I'm assuming the would the over the road position be uh would be uh non hazmat if I don't have my hazmat. For the over the road position, we need your. Tanker and your hazmat as well. Okay. But the so, hazmat is required after hire, so you can obtain those later on. And we do help with the uh, place online certification with the Schneider that you can ob obtain the hazmat. Okay, so so you do need your hazmat in order to drive mm -hmm. in order to drive the tanker division for Schneider. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So if um. If I'm interested in uh, going forward with the hazmat, what you guys will reimburse me the hundred dollars the for the uh, you know for the fee and everything? I'm not sure about that. That will be something that the hiding recruiter. Once you move uh, to the border step, they will be able to answer those questions for you. Here, John. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. So basically, like the technical aspects of my questions, you won't be able to answer pretty much. All right, so let's uh, mm -hmm. let's uh, let's keep it simple. Um, for both regional and over the road, let me make sure I get this right. You'll need your mm -hmm. tankers endorsement and your hazmat endorsements as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do y'all have any? Do do you guys? haul any commodities like sand, milk, anything that doesn't require hazmat? Do you guys uh, haul anything like that? That depends on the position in the area. At this time in your area, I have only these two positions available. Uh, it's not very common for this position that you're um, talking about, but we normally haul liquid chemicals. It's most of the time. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how much experience uh, would a new driver that does have uh, tankers, and you already said that you already said that they they might be able to help them with their with their hazmat endorsement. So, let's just say mm -hmm. hypothetically that they do have their hazmat endorsement and their tankers. How much experience do you guys require uh, for drivers to come in? Okay, for this position, for the over-the-road tanker position, this one actually doesn't require any experience. They go only for our uh, training, about three weeks of training, and that will be it. Let me see the regional. The regional as well, we, does, we don't require any experience for these two positions. So, so brand new, so brand new, uh, brand new drivers that just came out of school with their newly acquired cdl and tankers yes. and hazmat they will be able mm -hmm, they will be able to apply for this position as well all right so the hiring what's what's the hiring requirements then um what what's the uh pre-employment 
uh, drug screening? Is it hair follicles or urine or both? Both. Okay. We do have, we do the two tests. The main test that we do is a DOT drug screen and the non DOT hair test. Mm. Those are the most, yes. Okay. Uh, Okay. Um, all right, so hair and urine um is is that. Okay. Um what other what what other requirements do you guys require for new drivers to come up into Snyder? Because like I said, I I got a whole bunch of friends that's in mm-hmm. uh you know, that's in school right now. So, mm-hmm. you know, some of them is the age of 18. You know, I got, I, I know this 18 year old guy that just got his CDL. Uh, so what, what, what are the requirements? Like what's your standards? Yeah. Okay. First of all, they need to be uh, at least 21 years old mm-hmm. to apply with the Schneider. Okay. And then um, they need to have the privilege of driving in the, to stay around the country. They don't have to have any limitation of that. All right. And then they need to have their CDL, um, either their permit, if they are having attained any truck driving school, or the CDL Class A driver license. Gotcha. Those are the most important requirements that we um, ask All right. for our candidate. All right. Mm-hmm. So back to uh, so back to tankers, uh, something that I, you know, of course, is interested in. Um mm-hmm. What's the mileage pay? Is is it different for OTR driver or the regional driver? Is there a difference in pay? Yeah, it is different. I can give you an average per week. Uh, and then if you want me to pull the pay package, I can definitely do that. Uh, it will take up a couple of minutes. But uh, for the regional, an average of weekly pay, that one is in between 1100 to $1,400 per week. Oh, okay. Okay. So if I decide to do the, if I decide to do the, uh, the regional, uh, tankers, it will be, I, I, I can average anywhere between uh, up, to, up to $1,400, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. And, and as far as the over the road, over the road is, is definitely different. So let me ask you this. Do you uh, know, do you know the actual cent per mile for the over the road? Okay, for the over the road, yeah, I can definitely pull the pay package here for you. Just it will take me a couple seconds, okay? Okay. To give you that exact um, pay per mile. Okay, for the over the road, actually that position pay per hour. It will depend on the experience. Uh, you say you have uh, seven years of experience, right? Yeah, you you wait. You saying over the road pay per hour, or is that regional? Yes. That's wait over the road paying per hour, per hour. Yeah, per tank, hour. Tankers, tank, 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 tanker drivers getting paid by the mm-hmm. hour. Yes, and driving hours and non-driving hours. Okay, so how much? How much per hour will I start at? I, I got seven years. Okay, so you will start earning $30 per hour, and then you will get $17 with 50 cents per on-duty hourly, so non-driving hours. Okay. Okay, so driving time, which is 11 hours, I would get $30 an hour, correct? Yes. Yes. My 10 hour break while I'm not driving, I would if get If you 70- are on duty. Oh, if I'm on. No, you need to be. Yes, you need to be on duty. Okay. I mean, you need to be in your shift. Okay. So, okay, wait. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So if I'm on duty and driving for 11 hours, then I, my new amount will be 47.50 cent an hour. Am I, am I? No. No. 
Okay. No. Break, okay. Okay. Let break that. Explain. Yeah. 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 Break that down for me. Yeah. Okay. So let's say you start your shift at six a.m. Right. Right. And then you have to go and pick the truck, and you start and you go and you made your first delivery. Let's say at uh, three p.m. afternoon, you made your first delivery. Okay. All those hours driving from six a.m. to three p.m. Those hours will be paid. Uh, in let's say thirty dollars per hour. Okay. Now, when you stop and stop delivering, those hours from the the time that you stop the truck and you are you know non driving, you will get seventeen dollars with fifty cents per hour. So anytime you are not driving but you are on duty, I mean in your shift, you will get paid seventeen dollars with 50 cents per hour. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay, so theoretically if if I'm if I'm to understand this, my shift mm -hmm. is 14 hours, right? That that would be my 14 hour clock, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so, uh -huh, let's say, uh -huh. so 11 of those hours I would get the $30 and then the three hours that I'm on duty, I would get seventeen dollars and fifty cents. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, that's uh, well, you know, that sounds that's that sounds pretty decent. I mean, basically, you would get paid for all hours on your clock, pretty much, right? Uh Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Okay. I, okay. That's that's awesome. All right. So that's regional. What's what's the difference in the OTR? This this one is the over the road. Oh, this one is position. okay. Okay. Now, what's the difference in the regional though? Okay. Let me just give me a couple seconds here. Mm -hmm. I will pull the package here for you. Oh, okay. 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 It will take me a couple of seconds here. Okay, for the regional position, it is paid per hour as well. And in this position, you will start earning $28 per hour, driving hours. Okay, okay? So, so 20, so 20. No driving up. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go I ahead. do apologize, I do apologize. No, 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 I, I apologize, my, my bad. I, I just have a bad habit of every time I hear something, I want to, I want to chime right in on it, but my, my fault, my fault. I had to discipline myself. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So in, in the regional, you will start earning $28 uh, dollars per hour and then non-driving hours, you will obtain the same $17 with 50 cents. Okay. Okay. And, and that's all hours on duty and driving oh, all 14 yeah, hours. On Okay, um, now, now regional is twenty eight. You say twenty eight fifty or twenty eight dollars? Twenty eight. Why? Okay, so going up in the areas of the northeast, uh, is there anywhere that says that we that we can get paid extra? Because I, I would figure that you you'll get a little bit more, especially going up in the northeast. Okay, I do have an average that the miles that you will be driving during the the shift. Okay. That will be about one thousand eight hundred fifty miles per week. Okay. That's an average. Okay. Uh, that about if you want to make more to drive more miles or do more, uh, that will be something that operation will um go over will talk with. with you. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> What what do you uh, now? I noticed, you know, I've I've been out here for a long time, and I noticed uh, different color trucks, uh, different color Snyder trucks, uh, and I probably came across maybe one or two uh, different models. Uh, what what models do you get? What 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 model equipment do you guys have, and what are they governing that? Okay, we use Freightliner Cascadias. They are 53 feet long. Um, normally, the capacity is about 45,000 pounds. 
um, and then they are no more than two years and a half old, and they come with refrigerators. Um, what else I can tell you? Um, and they are automatic transmission. All right. All right. Do you know where they govern that? What's the top speed? I do know those technical. <laughs> I okay. do know those technical. Yeah, that will be something that operation definitely will give you more information about that. All right. Now, what about uh, what what about driver cameras? We do have one in each side, in the in the cab, and then we have one facing the road and and front. Okay. We don't have anything facing the 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 driver. Okay. Um, so with all this tanker talk, uh, do you guys have mm -hmm. any, do you guys have, uh, any lease opportunities for tanker drivers? Lease opportunities, yes. And actually we do have an special department for that. Um, I'm not sure exactly if the tanker as well, they uh, lease or uh, I'm not sure. I don't have much information about the, the, the lease right. or owner operator, uh, but definitely I can transfer the call if you need, if you need to more, if you need uh, to know more about the lease and. Oh, no, and no, that. that's, that's, that's okay. Just, just, to, just to find, you know, I guess I'll find out more, if, you know, when I go through the, go through the process of uh, applying for you guys. Um, Okay. Uh how about um now I already know the lanes, you know, over the road is pretty much open in the uh regional. I I know I will be going up to New York. But are all the are all the dispatches forced? Uh yes, yes. So. All right. All righty. Uh, we already went over the miles and everything. Uh, let me see. How? Okay. Yeah. Um, now, for the regional, would I be getting home uh, every week? Like, on every the weekend? Every week. Okay. So, I will be yeah. home by the, by the weekend. Would that be a full two days that I, that I have, or would that just be my 34-hour reset? Okay. For that position, John, uh, the regional... So you will have um, two days off. Uh, normally or typically is on the weekends, not always, mm -hmm. because that will depend of the freight. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And then you can either begin on Sunday or Monday. If you begin, you will be able to be the, the whole weekend in your home. Uh, but if you need to start on Sunday, so you will have... Uh, you will have you you will not have the Sunday at home. Okay. You may have Friday and Saturday. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And let me see the schedule for the over the road. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe that position is every other week scheduled. So which means you will be out for at least twelve to fourteen days out, and then you will be home for two or three days. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Pet and rider policy. And what's the youngest I can bring my, uh, my, uh, my child or my rider. Okay. Yeah. I can definitely give you information about that. Um, let's see. I depend how old is she or he. Um, let me just, I don't, remember exactly i'm just trying to find the information here give me a second okay no take your time i i, I appreciate all of this thank you if for experienced driver like you you must be you have let's see must have been actively driving tractor trailer trailer on a public roadway um for at least one year and then uh, the age of your child must be, uh, let's see, plus 18 years old. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. pets or are, are pets welcome? Pets are not allowed for solo driver. Pets right. are allowed if you are working a team position. Oh, uh, that's weird, but okay. 
Okay. I'm, 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 hey, I'm, I'm not going to question the yeah, policy. It's just because, <laughs> yeah, it's just because, um, it's just because uh, let's say you are in a solo position, okay? You are uh, by yourself on the truck and you have uh, a pet with you. How you can handle the pet if you're driving, if you are alone and the pet is maybe doing something, you know, oh, okay, okay. something happened, let's say. So, yeah, in the a pet. team position is different because the other person is there. So the, the other person will be able to take care of that okay. while you're driving. So you're saying basically the pet will become a distraction for a solo driver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Do you guys... um? All right, so let's circle back to the, uh, uh, you know, the pre-employment drug screening and everything, you know, for uh, drivers. Do you guys accept SAP drivers, SAP drivers? That will be analyzing a case-by-case basis, John. If you su- once you submit an application, that the hired and recruited team will be able to analyze that information. All right, awesome. And do you guys do you guys have any type of sign-on bonuses? Yeah, we some positions have sign on bonus and some other positions do not have any bonus available. For the over the road position, um I don't have any sign on bonus for that one. Uh let me take a look at the regional. Mm-hmm. Same. We don't have any sign on bonus for these two positions. All right. Well awesome. You know what? This has been a beautiful Beautiful, interesting conversation about Snyder and a tanker division. So thank you very much. But I do want to add one bonus question, if I may. Um, So a lot of drivers that I have seen uh, that was driving for Snyder Snyder National uh, unfortunately got in trouble for social media use and let me say that i do have a social media presence uh i do have a youtube page and i do have you know and i do a little bit of things on TikTok. uh as i as i seen you know in the last few you know last few months or last year or so a couple of social media drivers have been let go because of their social media. So my question to you is, what's what will be my policy uh, with Snyder for you know my my social media? You know, if I want to say if I have my camera on my forehead or if I have my camera on my body or if I if I talk while my camera is running, what would what type of policy that I would be running into if if that's uh, if that's something that's frowned upon by Snyder? That is a great question. Um, I do not know exactly. Uh, about the social media matters in case you're driving and you're, um, you know, using social media and um, show some uh, information or show, you know, things like we yeah, you know, me just, and, yeah, or just, we compromise. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, fair. fair so I'm not, fair I'm not really sure about that, John. But that is something uh, that will be something that the recruiter, mm-hmm, that that, recruiter will be able to go through. Oh, okay. And that would be something that I should bring up, right? I should bring yes. that up. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Exactly. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Now, well, this was now. Th- do you want me to send this information through your email? Uh, you know what? Sure. Right now. I mean, this is something that I'm still. Uh, you know, looking into. So again, thank you for uh, taking the time and answering my questions. But uh, for other drivers that might, you know, that might really be interested in coming on with Snyder, is there some type of um, conversation for you if they if if they use you as a, you know, as as a point of contact? And if so, 
then I, you know, I'll just direct them to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, no, we do not have um, any, any of that. Um, we are a big team, so we, um, we don't have a, any direct line or anything like that. Uh, but uh, everybody in my team um, do the same job. And then, yeah, um, that's great. We would just uh, provide our customer service to you. Awesome. And then that would mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, yeah. hey, thank you, for thank, that. thank you very much. I, I I enjoyed this call. This this was uh, very informational. Yeah, me too. Uh, especially if, you know, like I said, I just got my tankers. So I mm -hmm. I will definitely, you know, We'll, we'll put you guys in my back pocket and, uh, and, 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 you know, put some consideration. Thank you. Sounds great, John. Sounds great. Snyder National. Wow. Woo! Woo! Was that enough? Or do you need more? Do you need more? I just want to know. Do you need any more? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Talk to me. Tell me. Let me know how lockout men did in getting this good ass information for you. And I had, sorry to cuss, my bad. But I had to say, this is some good-ass information. Awesome conversation. A 10. A 10. Mm, that's a 10. Yes. She answered all the questions. Well, not all of them, but the ones that she couldn't answer. She did say that, you know, when you guys sign up and y'all would get, you know, I, I, I'm... She's she's like a go-between. I mean, you know, I know I asked her that in the beginning, but she's like a go-between. But she answered, like, majority of the questions that you need to know. Now, for the answers of the questions like what I, what I asked her, she did direct them to the actual recruiting person that you would actually be working with. All right? So, awesome, awesome. So, what do you guys think, man? Their tanker divisions over the road, thirty dollars an hour, with an extra seventeen fifty on top for the three hours that you're on duty. So, about mm, they break, they probably break that down. So, what do you think? Thirty dollars an hour. We work 70 hours, right? 70 hours? So just break that up and you'll you'll figure it out. I'm, you know, my, my mind's turned off when it comes to calculations. You 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 guys will get it. Regional though. Now regional, mm, especially in my area, I will probably go. She said I will go down as far as Virginia, but then go up as high as New York. You guys already know how I feel about New York. You guys already know how I feel about uh, the Northeast, period. I mean, I never drove the Northeast in the tanker, so my tanker drivers, listen, listen, pay attention, listen. Let me know, let me know, all right? Let me know how it is driving tankers, moving liquid in those areas of the world up in the Northeast. Because I know the surge... I know the surge be something, baby. I know. Y'all be like wave motion up in that beach, man. I was just saying. Uh, $28. $28 and $17.50 for all, I mean, for all on duty. What do you guys think, man? So I would go to, you know, to the to the reviews. But I'm, I'm just going to tell you, go to 
uh, Trucker's Report for the reviews because there's a lot of them. And just type in Snyder National Reviews. There's a lot of them. There's some happy drivers that drive for Snyder's. And then there's some disgruntled drivers that drive, that used to drive for Snyder. That used to drive for Snyder. And then there's some in between that's just moving along with Snyder. Great call. Great information. That's what we do here on the Lockout Men podcast show. So with that said, that's it. I'm done. That's my thoughts. That's my thoughts on Snyder National. Yo, let me know who to call next. Who's next? Who's next?